the number nine clutch quarterback of all time, Steve Young. Here we go. Remember when Steve Young's career ended, he was the number one rated quarterback in NFL history. The great thing about Steve Young was his ability to perform in the clutch a lot more than people thought he did. They get the winning score is just the stuff of legend. Now that's guts. Steve Young was so athletic and so difficult to defend because he was multidimensional. Steve, take it yourself! Dives into the goal line, touchdown 49ers! His comebacks were more <laughs> frantic. Let's go, let's go. He was kind of a crazy man out there. And those wild eyes and he's screaming at his teammates. Everybody's wandering around. Let's go. He's got lots of room. 35, 30. He's in bounds. He's to the 20, 15. One man to get by. He's to the 5. Carries him into the end zone. Touchdown, 49ers. The thing I, uh, I love about Steve Young is his story. Take a look at Aaron Rodgers and the things that he's going to have to deal with coming up. Filling in for Brett Favre. Filling in for Joe Montana. Up into the middle. Down to the 15. Gets back up. Then he lost the ball. Joe Montana would be running in the first place. If it's not enough to follow in the legend's footsteps, for Steve Young, for a long time, the knock on him was that he can't win the big one. But in 1994, our number nine quarterback did win the big one. You won't have to hear any more talk about Steve Young getting to the Super Bowl. That's not the classic end of the game comeback. But I think when you talk about quarterbacks and their place in the game, that kind of put the stamp on Steve Young's comeback. Someone take the monkey off my back, please. No, oh, it. It. Oh, it. San Francisco will have one crack at it. If Young's got a big one left, this is the time. At that point, he had never beaten Brett Favre or the Packers, period. Favre had just put the Packers ahead. He slips. He looks like he's falling down. He keeps his balance. Throws to the end zone. Oh, 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 he caught it. He caught it. He caught it. 49ers win the game, and I think that really did a, a lot for Steve Young's ability to be considered a clutch performer. I think what it says about Steve Young is he had nowhere else to go with the ball. <laughs> Seriously, he, he had to go straight up the middle. He had to throw it to T.O. Total force job, man. He just said, screw it. I'm, you know, going to force it in. The ball. 1988, 49ers are playing the Vikings. Joe is hurt. Steve's at quarterback. Two minutes to play in the game. 49ers are down by four points, and he takes off on a run that is still the best run by a quarterback I have ever seen in pro football history. Gets away again! You'll never see a quarterback make a scramble like that, maybe ever again, because nobody's as crazy as Young. Steve did it more with, like, blood and guts. He was a tough guy. The Detroit game is exactly what I'm talking about with his physical toughness. Steve yep. Young is hurt. Oh, my, is he ever. Again, I don't know if he can get up from this one. And there is a very memorable image of him crawling off the field. I thought he was going to die. As soon as I think Steve Young's going to die in the Silver Dome right here, and we're going to have to just carry on with the game. And what does he do? He comes running back into the huddle. You could see the teammates get lifted up by his toughness, and he led them to a comeback win in the fourth quarter. Here's the ball game. Young under pressure. Gets it away. Ball is caught. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Singleton. 